Hey everyone, let's talk about what it takes to start cookie decorating. Now a lot of people are scared to take that leap and get going because they're not sure what kind of supplies they need, they're not sure if they have the right recipes, um, you're kind of intimidated because you don't really know how to do it or how to start. And let me tell you that we all felt the same way and especially myself, from my own experience, I think I started watching videos and probably took me like a year or so, maybe even more, by the time I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna really give this a shot. And I felt like I needed to get a few things to get started and it was kind of overwhelming at first, you know, like I didn't know what meringue powder was, I didn't know what a scribe was or tipless bags, none of that stuff. And to be honest, I really started with the basics. I started with some Wilton bags that I found at Michael's. Um, they're not really the best tipless bags, and I tried it with tipless, I tried it with Ziploc bags, I tried putting tips in there, I used a toothpick to smooth my icing out. You know, I bought what I could find basically at the craft store. Getting into cookies is just throw yourself in it, do a set or two, and see how it goes. Now, they might not come out great, but the most important thing is to give it a try. And so what I think it is, is when you actually try and make a set, then you realize like, oh, you know, my lines aren't really straight. Or I wonder if it's because the icing's not coming out of the bag correctly. And then you start researching like how to get my lines straighter, how to get my icing coming out of my bag um, better. And then you start realizing you see tips on tipless bags or using tips with no seams in them or things like that. And then you start learning what you need to know to get your cookies to the next level. When you make mistakes, that's what forces you to learn how to make that part better. Your black is not black enough or your red is not red enough. Then you start researching better colors. You know, you're, you want to have your icing dry faster or um, how do people, you know, don't get craters or, you know, they don't get color bleed. And then you start researching those specific things. And I feel like that's really important to get you to know what you need to do. And it's not all about the tools. You can start with the super basics. And then as you go, you can say, you know what, like, it's really hard using this. I'm going to invest in something and that'll make my life easier. I never went out and bought all this crazy stuff because it gets expensive. So what I would do is after I sold a few sets, I'd say, you know, what would really make my cookie decorating experience better or spending less time? So then I started investing in, you know, instead of using just a little fan for $30 that I had on my table, I would invest in a dehydrator. Or instead of taking forever to kind of trace or try my best to outline or draw on, a, on the cookie so I knew where I needed to pipe, with kind of different tricks I learned online, I got myself a projector. But again, and it's not necessary to have top of the line supplies to have really nice cookies. And I think as you learn little tricks and as you research more on what you need and ask questions, a lot of cookiers are super friendly if you send them a message or if you make a comment. Most of them will comment back. There's lots of Facebook groups that you can be a part of that are super, super helpful. I learned a lot from those groups as well because a lot of people have the same issues you do and then they're more than willing to help. So if you see this and you're still on the fence, I really hope you give it a try. Let me know if you do. Let me know how it goes. And I promise you, you'll fall in love with it and you'll be really proud of yourself. Thanks so much for watching and listening, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy baking!